This was the previous master controller. Um, I made it so that you could make a controller board inside a cartridge. I used one of these, plugs into the unit, and then becomes, in effect, that controller. That all worked fine, however, of course it meant you need to have a stock of those cartridges, and you don't know what all the buttons do. I mean, you could use overlays, but it wasn't terribly convenient. So I came up with a much better solution. Converting a USB controller, which it looks very similar to a PlayStation, but incorporating a parallel port, so there's 25 cables, connections, and that's perfectly sufficient to work up to and including the N64. What makes this system quite unique though is that I've enabled all these buttons to be removable and interchangeable. Because of course, for example, the SNES uses different colour buttons here. Some systems like the NES, TurboGrafx, only use two buttons and therefore the others are redundant. So, what I've done is to make this interchangeable. So, if we put this out, you can clearly see that it's very easy to chop and change these and because the rare earth magnets holding this board in place it means that it stays perfectly in place so you can then pop it in and then have full control on all the buttons. It means in effect one controller for all up to six buttons which of course the N64 and the Mega Drive can utilise however the buttons that aren't utilised in some of the systems I can just put in a, a small blank, or alternatively, a black button to indicate that uh, that particular one isn't being used.